wanted to ask you, uh, Julian said something the other day that I wanted to ask you and Phil about when we get a chance. Um, he said that because you guys have been playing together for around a couple of weeks, whatever it is now, that just he feels much more comfortable. And he said you guys have been able to work on stuff and practice. Everything for him, he said, just seems to be clicking more. What have you sensed about that, that continuity and, and the comfortability that you guys are getting with each other? Uh, I mean, he's right, for sure. We, we're we um, getting more comfortable playing together. And, um, you know, we still try to figure out things, um, you know, in practices, games. But, um, you know, as you play, I mean, I think we played, I don't know how many games, but a couple together. And uh, for sure, you know a little bit uh, where the guys are on the ice and stuff like that, so it helps, and uh, you know you get to know how they play a little bit. So um, for sure, it's it's good, and uh, we'll, we'll try to keep uh, keep getting better as a line. As far as communication, does that get better with each practice, with each game as well? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think me and me and uh, goats uh, speak French, so uh, when we speak together, we we try to speak English with Phil, um, so uh, everybody like is on the same page. So uh, that's the. Uh, you know the thing we gotta adjust me and me and Gilder, so it's uh, you know for sure it's it's a lot of fun and uh, we'll, like I said we'll try to keep getting better. So if you, when you, the other in the Boston game were you calling for the puck in French or English? With yeah, French. <laughs> French. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I I talk uh, I talk to him it's French for sure. But uh, you know when when Phil's around like I said we'll, we'll try to uh, speak English. What have you noticed about Julian's game in particular that's that's made him so effective in the last couple of weeks? Um, I think just his, his speed. Um, you know he's a Big boy, but he, he can really skate. So um, you know, I think just when he, he drives wide, he's uh, hard to stop. And uh, for me, I just uh, just have to read this and uh, get open on uh, you know the other side of the ice. And uh, you know, like he showed last game, he can uh, find me. So um, you know, we like I said, that's a, a part of uh, you know getting to know how to play together for sure. Do you, do you sense even just off the ice that he seems much more confident and comfortable recently? Yeah, for sure. Um, it's getting. Getting better, our game's getting better as a line, and he's getting better, so it's it's good for him, and um, hopefully he can keep going, and uh, we can uh, keep playing some some good games. What about you? How, how do you feel about how you've been playing lately? I've uh, been playing good. I think uh, our line's been. Uh, we have a couple couple good chances every game. We just gotta uh, maybe we'd like to score a little more, but uh, that's uh, that's hockey, and uh, if we, if we keep going, I think uh, the goals are going to come. Do you guys spend a lot of time looking at video to, to, to look at the chances that you're getting and kind of figure out what, what you guys can continue to do to do better and what you need to do differently? Yeah, we always watch uh, video sometimes with, with coaches. Sometimes we watch our games uh, by ourselves, and uh, you can learn a lot from that. So uh, that's a, a good thing for us and a uh, thing that uh, really helps our line for sure. And when you watch, you like what you guys, what you see as far as what your the chances you're generating. Yeah, you, you see what you you can do better and uh, what you're doing good. So uh, it's, uh, you know, nothing crazy, but it helps you getting better for sure. When you were in the QMJHL, your team won more often than not. Do you feel like you learned how to handle success then? Or is winning in the NHL just a completely different thing to wrap your head around? Um, it's a little different for sure. I think it's, uh, you know, obviously the best league in the world. So, uh, you know, it's hard to win every night and, uh, you know, you got to be ready because uh, every team uh, can beat you. So uh, it's uh, uh, really going out there and uh, being ready uh, as, a, as a team and individually. And uh, I think every, everything should be good. Fox talked about not letting the highs get too highs or the lows get too lows. Do you feel like that's something you've learned? Or continuing to learn? Yeah, yeah, I think uh, uh, it's good to win, but uh, you can't get too high. Um, and that's a big part of, of sport. If you want to be a, play with uh, consistency, you got to uh, never be too high, never be too low. So it's uh, it's something we try to do as a team, and uh, it help, help us for sure. With the Flyers coming to town, uh, is it just always in the back of your mind when you're going to play a division opponent and the, the game has a little bit more meaning? Yeah, they're big games, and, uh, you know, they're. They're a real good team too, so uh, you know we got to be ready. They have a lot of good, good skill players, so uh, you know just play our game and uh, everything should be uh, should be fine. I think you guys split with them last season, four and four. What do you remember about about playing them last season? So many times, especially. Uh, I mean, they're like I said, a real good team, real skilled. So uh, um, you know we're skilled too, so it's uh, there's a lot of uh, you know good chances chances. But uh, if we play our game, like I said, we'll be we'll be just fine. What's different for you this year compared to last year? Um, I mean, I think I, I know a little bit more what to expect from, uh, you know, the league, the teams. Um, you know, every night, like I said, uh, got to be ready. And um, 
you know, I think I've learned last year um, how to play with uh, with men's, and uh, you know, it's it's really physical. So um, just trying to um, you know keep uh, keep working, keep uh, improving my game, and uh, you know, that's I think it's it's going well so far. Are you? You mentioned the physicality. Are you? Do you feel like you're you're picking your spots or noticing chances to you to hit and to use your body more this year? Especially in the Islanders game, it looked like it threw some pretty big hits. So is that something that you are consciously trying to do more, or is that just the way your game is evolving? Um, you know, just I, I worked on my skating a lot, so uh, if you get in the, the good areas, I think you'll, you'll have a chance to finish guys or to uh, get some loose pucks. So uh, that, that's why you, you work on your skating. It's not only with the puck, it's without the puck and uh, knowing where to, to go, and uh, that's, that's something I'm still working on right now. Your teammates have some fun with you after that Islanders game? Yeah, yeah, uh, we had a lot of fun, but uh, yeah, it was a good win for us, team win, so uh, that's that's all we, we care about. But it, it seemed like they really enjoy seeing you mix it up like that. Like, I think for the for the older guys, seeing the younger guys do something like that, like they have some fun with that, it seems like. Yeah, yeah, they had, uh, you know, a couple of jokes about it, but, uh, you know, uh, uh, that's what I, I thought uh, I needed to do, so, uh, you know, it's uh, we, we keep moving on and uh, keep going.